I'm Chandler, and I refuse to have an intro, and The Walking Dead comes back tonight, so in honor of that, I'm going to do some kind of Walker-inspired um, FX makeup. Um, I think what I'm going to do, so this is a spoiler alert if you haven't been keeping up or if you don't watch the show but you're planning on watching the show soon, we're pretty sure Carl's going to die, and by pretty sure Carl's going to die, I mean Carl's going to die. So this look is in honor of him. By the way, the actor who plays Carl, his real name is Chandler, so... You know I had to. Um, this is another spoiler alert. In um, the previous seasons, in the like earlier in the series, Carl gets his eye shot out. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, basically, I have a, an image on the side here of what his eye looks like um, getting shot out. And in the picture that I'm looking at, it's on... This is confusing because when I'm looking at the picture, it's on this side, which means that in real life it's on this side, but when you're watching the video, it's going to be the opposite for you. So anyways, I'm going to do this eye. So whether that's correct or not, I don't know. Um, by the way, not a makeup artist, have not been trained, so all of this is going to be pretty much not safe. Probably. Also, I don't have like, I'm not watching a tutorial or anything. I'm just gonna try it on my own and see what happens. So, will I lose an eye in this video? Perhaps. When he gets his eye shot off, he's also missing his eyebrow. It's gone. Um, so, I have to block out my eyebrow. You take a glue stick and you just glue your hair down. <laughs> I have pretty thin eyebrows. Yeah, so I need a second layer on the tail. So if you have thicker eyebrows, you're probably going to have to go over it with glue like five or six times. But I barely have eyebrows, so that's, you know, the benefits. So while that's drying, I'm just going to draw, I'm using an eyebrow pencil to just draw out like the map of where, like the shape of how his eye is. That's roughly the shape. When I paint it and everything, it actually, he has like a... There's like a chip right here, like a cut, it goes like that. But that's an effect I'm gonna use like gelatin for. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is for the texture on the inside, I think I am gonna use the bag. So this is just like a clear plastic bag that I got at my grocery store. I'm just gonna cut like a little section out. Um, part of the reason I want to use this is because, like, I would just use the gelatin, because I think that's what, whoever did his makeup, I'm pretty sure they used gelatin or, like, a wax to give it, like, a melted, like, deteriorating look. However, being that I'm not a professional, I don't want to put gelatin that close to my eyeball. Like, I don't want to get his, like, because his eye was shot out, there is nothing there. So, I'm going to literally have to go over this with makeup, and I don't want to put gelatin on my eyeball. So this is gonna be like a little screen over my eyes so that gelatin and latex and everything doesn't get in it. But again, I'm not a professional. So, you know, if you're gonna try this, maybe like watch, I'm sure a video exists of someone who actually knows what they're doing. So I'm cut out a little circle of the bag and I'm just crunching it up to give it like the wrinkles. So now we need to make the gelatin. So what you're gonna need is Original gelatin, not jello, gelatin. Um, unflavored, it smells really bad, and you're also gonna need pure glycerin. 
those are the two ingredients to making like a melty, waxy, skin, fleshy, colory um, mask type thing. You're also going to want like foundation or concealer to mix into it to give it the right color because it, it'll just really be like clear. Whatever you do, it's equal parts of everything. So. One pack of gelatin is about two spoonfuls. So then we're going to take two spoonfuls and then we're going to take two spoonfuls of glycerin. Smells awful. Then we mix it a little bit more. Now we nuke it for about 30 seconds. When you're working with gelatin, you want to do short intervals like 15 seconds, 30 seconds. You don't want to overdo it because you can burn it and then you can't use it. So you want to be careful how long to cook it for. So I stopped it at 15 seconds. Gonna mix it. it smells awful. All right, you want to let it sit for just a second. If you don't let it sit, you will burn yourself. I'm using my finger to apply it because I don't want to ruin my brushes. It smells awful. Having to have this near my nose is the worst thing in my life. And it does drip down up here, so that's cool. I'm just going over the line I made. Oh, I got it in my hair. Good job, me. It's already starting to dry. It's already dry on my fingers. And it's so gross. It feels like a booger, just saying. So what's nice about this, like if you had tools, you could smooth the line out so it wasn't so harsh. I don't have tools. I could maybe use a knife, but I feel like that'd be dangerous. <laughs> All right, so before I officially stick this down, I wanna do some of like the coloring and stuff just because I won't be able to see once this is on and then I won't really know what I'm doing. So I'm using black cream makeup. First actually let me set the gelatin with powder so it's not shiny. Oh, Now I'm taking black cream makeup and I am filling in this area. Just using a makeup wedge this is just makeup that like you get from your uh, Halloween store and the good news for a look like this is um it can be messy because his eye got shot off so there is just black and blood everywhere. Currently, I look like a Dalmatian. This is the Ben Nye color kit. And I'm just gonna take the red and just go over the prosthetic. And like down around my face 
I'm just gonna peel up the inside a little so that I can wedge the, the bag under and also to give it dimension. I should have done it while it was drying, drying, but I did not. All right, now liquid latex smells really bad and it stains and it makes a huge mess. So I would recommend using a sponge to apply it. Do not use a beauty blender, do not use a brush that you like because you will not get it back. It's really gross. I'm gonna pour it into this cap. Whoa, that was a lot. And just dip my sponge and. Ooh, burns my eyes really badly. Where's my piece? I'm just peeling up the gelatin a little and putting the liquid latex in and then laying down the bag and then putting the gelatin over the top of the bag. I think I'm going to put some gelatin over it just to give it more dimension. I'm just putting it on and no real, I'm just gooping it because it looks really gross and cool. There is nothing covering the inside of my eye right there so I'm not putting it there because I will get it in my actual eye. I'm just going to go in with this black again. And the red and the orange again. I think it's time for blood. I use a uh, theatrical effects blood gel. Blood gel is like more solidified. It's more like scabby type. It's not like drippy. So like smash or pass. Let me know. Whatever, I'm hyped for The Walking Dead to come back tonight and rip AF on Carl, but if they decide they need another Chandler on the show, I'm right here. I'm your man. Hire me. I'm fully prepared to be a walker and or a total BA like Michonne and Daryl. Daryl is my favorite. I will argue with anyone, and if Daryl dies, I will never watch the show again, so everyone take note of that. Okay, bye. Bye.